Hello there, this is Sarah from Sarah Moon & Co. And this is an updated video about Squarespace and Acuity. This is quick and simple about how to add Acuity to Squarespace. Acuity is also known as Squarespace Scheduling. Don't get confused, they're the exact same product, you use them the same way, you may be accessing them in different places. If you're using Acuity, you'll be using it through Acuity's website. If you're using Squarespace Scheduling, you'll be going through your Squarespace website. They're ultimately the exact same product. And I know it's confusing. Talk to Squarespace. <laughs> they bought Acuity and kind of muddled things up a little bit for everyone. In the previous iteration of this video, we talked about how it was free for Squarespace users to have an Acuity account. Sadly, that's no longer the case. And, um, you know, it's a bummer but it's still a really, really powerful scheduling tool. And so if you are using Squarespace, Acuity is probably going to be the best bet for you to be using an online scheduler. Makes it dead simple. Um, keep in mind that um, with Acuity, the, um, the, So the thing that you can do that makes, so you may have a lot of different reasons for wanting to have a scheduler on your website. And here are some of the common ones. I use them for um, booking clients to do quick chats. So to check in, that kind of thing. So if you have an active project, you use that when you need to chat with me and it's really super simple. I also use it if a potential lead has some questions that would be more easily answered with a phone call. Um, I definitely use it extensively for paid strategy sessions. And this is something that I recommend pretty much any service provider implement into their business model. Um, you can call them whatever you want, but what they are is a one hour paid session with you to dig into specific questions, problems, that sort of thing. What you'll find when you start implementing these into your business model is that these have much, much higher value than the quick 15 minute or 30 minute sales calls. And it changes the dynamic. It actually helps people immediately understand that you're an expert. It frees you from the stress of having to make a sale because you are able to provide help then and there without feeling like, eee, I'm giving it all away. Lots and lots of reasons why you want to have a scheduler on your website. There are a few things before I'm going to get into the how to's I also want to talk about. One thing that a scheduler will do is make you accountable for keeping your calendar up to date. Personally, I use Google Workspace for our team's calendars and everything in my life goes on the calendar. If you do not have your calendar up to date, people can book into your calendar, they can book and pay or book a discovery call or what have you with, and you will end up double booking yourself. Um, you'll end up having a haircut and then also realizing you have a client call. You don't want that to happen. Um, you also want to remember that there are a whole lot of deep detailed things you can do, like create coupons, create automated follow-ups, um, sell packages, subscriptions, all kinds of things. These are all things worth exploring. So as you start getting into the rhythm of having an online scheduler, and you start to see what the potential is, just remember that there's more and more to dig into. So whether you're using Acuity or another tool like Calendly or Book Like a Boss, um, this will really open up a lot for you if you have an open mind and really pay attention to what's been successful and what is maybe not successful and tweak your offerings. So those are also important. Just keep measuring how you're doing, keep tweaking your pricing, keep tweaking what you cover, all of that. It's not just a set it and forget it thing. <laughs> so let's dive in a little bit. You need two things to do this. One, you need a Squarespace website. Now you can use Acuity on pretty much any website platform and um, Acuity has instructions for that. This is specifically in the, the kind of odd way that it works with Squarespace. So this is not for, if you're using WordPress, these instructions won't apply to you. Just stop the video now. <laughs> and then what the other thing you need is an Acuity or a Squarespace scheduling account. Remember, they are two different things. So I have an old Acuity account right here. And so I go in through Acuity to access my appointments and my scheduler. If you have a newer website and you set your Acuity account up through Squarespace scheduling, 
what you will do is access it through the scheduling tab on your Squarespace account. And if you are ha, don't have either one, you can choose your own adventure, whichever one you prefer. There's not a, a better or worse. They're, they're just different ways of accessing it. Some people really like having it all right in their website. Some people would rather not. Again, it's up to you. Um, either way, you will also have access to an app which is actually shockingly useful. I didn't think it was that big a deal until I installed it. And I'm always using it to like schedule people really quickly and that kind of thing, really make use of that. Um, so if you do use the scheduling tab through your website, you'll just click here and it'll walk you through um, getting set up with scheduling. But I'm going to assume you've done one or the other. Um, they're both pretty easy to set up and that you've connected it to your calendar. Again, remember, you don't want to screw up your calendar. It's the worst. So what we want to do is first, we want to decide what we want to embed. So you may have several different types of appointments, or you may have one or two types of appointments, um, or maybe just one. Um, and there's lots of approaches you can take to what to you want to display. For example, right here, I have... Um, I have mine set up, so I have just one specific appointment type that's visible publicly. This is the only one that you can find without having the secret link. Some people will have a whole bunch of types of appointments. This is particularly common if you're a coach and say you're selling, you know, three different specific types of coaching, that sort of thing. Um, it just really depends. And that's a decision you have to make for your business and what makes sense for your business model. I do find that it's much easier to just sell one paid thing to new people this way versus presenting them with a big menu. So your mileage may vary, but keep that in mind. So I'm going to, in this example, what I'm going to do is we've got the scheduling page link. which you can see, I've just got one that's public. Um, and then I could also instead, you can see I have all kinds of appointments that are basically secret appointments. Kind of cool, huh? So if I wanted to say, ha embed my quick discovery call, I would simply just select that and get the link right here. So you can choose either your whole one or a custom one, but the process is the same. I'm going to, in this example, I am going to just do this one. So you can see I already have this embedded on this old version of my website, but let's just want to go and edit. And then you pick wherever you want it to land. This is wherever it goes. Um, click plus, and then you can type in here. This is one of my favorite score space tricks. You can type what you're looking for. So I'm looking for scheduling. And I'm going to add, because I already have an Acuity account or a scheduling page, and you just paste this link right in there and click apply. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there you go, that's all you do. It's super, super simple, um, but it is one of those things. This is a big revenue driver and it's actually, if you think about it, it's actually a paid lead magnet for us because a lot of the folks who end up coming in and doing a one-off um, paid strategy session like, um, like I have here, end up becoming longtime clients. So just think about all the ways you can use a scheduler and how that can help you out. Um, if we wanted to add just a discovery call, this quick discovery call, we're going to copy, same exact maneuver, click, search for scheduling, add an existing, yep, it gets a little repetitive sometimes, and paste that in. And so you can see, here's that quick discovery chat that you couldn't see on the normal public page. So you can kind of override that setting. Another one of my favorite little pro tips 
is that if you are a Squarespace user, you can use um, these layouts and there's booking layouts. And it kind of comes with a nice pre-designed setup. So it makes it even easier. So we just double click and there we go. So lots and lots of easy ways to use scheduling with Squarespace. Thanks so much for watching. You can always get more tips, advice, strategy over on our website at saramoon.net. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, which is full of all kinds of strategic marketing advice that really and truly anyone can implement. And be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks so much.